Hi everyone, so this past couple weeks I've been, our big question has been upon what foundation are U.S. public schools built? Um, then my three questions were what tools should help us make our lesson plans? Uh, second question was, how do you help students who don't take advantage of the learning opportunities provided to them? And the final question was, how can we keep the foundation of U.S. public schools an essential and known aspect of our school lives? So the first question, which was, what tools should help us make our lessons plan? Um, I talked with my sister, I talked with my siblings, and uh, just the discussion board for all of these quotes and my sister said you should use a variety of tools to make your lesson plans as diverse as you can so you reach all of the students in their own elements and I really like that and then Haley Waldrum I uh, said another thing that may be helpful is to share your personal experiences with your students you can talk about how important education was to you your failures your triumphs and everything in between I really like those two things and I think they're very important for um, for us to inform our students of we need to uh, teach in a way that they can learn and then I also think a way that you can do that is what Haley said through teaching about your own experiences uh, and my second question how do you help students who don't take advantage of the learning opportunities provided to them um, Alice Dale said to be the devil advocate there will never be a copy and paste one size fits all a magic answer to help every student and then my brother said provide as many opportunities as you can for them however someone once said that you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink and I really like that I think it's important to just provide your students with as many opportunities but know that it's not always going to work. So one opportunity that may work for one student is not going to work for the other um, and vice versa. So just give them the opportunities and they can take what they want out of it. And my final question, how can we keep the foundation of U.S. public schools an essential and known aspect of our school lives? Um, Ellie Ackerman said, and I'm really sorry if I pronounced anybody's name wrong. Um, so she said, so I think it boils down to helping your students see how their education will help them instead of just being a list of things to check off. And then my sister said, by teaching the past, we can better appreciate what we have in the present and learn from that. I really like that because it helps us appreciate and understand what... Um, what our forefathers have done and what everybody in the education world has done to give us these opportunities that we have now because it wasn't always like this it, we didn't have as great of an education in the past that we do now and it's it's important to teach that so that students can appreciate it and take advantage of it um, and that's what I learned this week about um, implementing uh, the foundation of U.S. public schools and teaching and learning in those ways that help provide students with opportunities.